Bell's interest in Romania is to support the Romanian military modernization effort. And we're bringing forth, Bell is, two helicopters. The attack helicopter, which we refer to as the Viper, and the utility helicopter, which is the Venom. But there's 85% commonality between those two aircraft. And what we mean by that is the parts are identical between those two. So the tail booms, the rotor blades, the transmissions, all can be swapped between those two aircraft. The other thing that's important about these aircraft is they're expeditionary. So it has a very small logistics footprint, so when you move to different, different environments where you have extreme, you know, hot, cold, harsh environments, these aircraft can operate in those very efficiently at lower cost. The other thing about them is they're combat proven. So these are at war, have been at war for a period of time and proven them themselves well. They operate in tandem together. So one is a full attack aircraft, so it provides support against heavy artillery, heavy forces. The utility aircraft actually carries troops and can be inserted in for theater for transport and extract infill of, of soldiers or Marines in this case. But the key thing is, is they're armed also. So the utility version is a combat utility, which makes it very unique as well. As, as the attack version, but they work together. They do carry a full range of, of air-to-ground weapons and air-to-air. -air. The, actually, the, uh, the Viper carries an air-to-air -air weapon, so it can actually uh, take on air-to-air -air threats as well as air-to-ground threats. The, uh, the, the Venom, which is the combat utility, it carries also air-to-ground weapons as well as it has uh, door guns on the side for support. In addition for national defense, the combat utility aircraft also has the capability to provide humanitarian relief. As an example, one that has occurred recently uh, in the last year or so was in Nepal, when they had the earthquakes in Nepal. The, uh, the H-1s actually flew and rescued people out of the mountains and also delivered food and supplies to them as well. So in addition to national defense, they can be used to support uh, the common public in disaster relief exercises. What they've had discussions with us so far is around 45 aircraft, which is 24 of the attack version, or the Viper, and then 21 of the Venom, which is the utility aircraft. So they're very modern, they're very advanced, they're the current, current latest version for the United States Marine Corps. So basically that, that would make Romania a member in a very select club, right? A very, very select club, and in fact, so unique that right now the United States Marine Corps is the only one that is using both platforms, the Yankee and the Zulu and using them together in that format. Romania is the first country that is asked to do that as well. We just finished a, a transition study with IAR, Brushoff. So we're doing that right now with them. And you know, if the H1 is selected, we're looking for uh, ourselves and Bell to put the final assembly at IAR for the Romanian aircraft. Okay, so far what we've been doing is last, uh, last year we actually had a request for pricing and availability that went to the United States government and we supported that. We also had this March had a delegation come visit the U.S., our headquarters, and also the production line in Amarillo. And they also went out to Camp Pendleton to see the, uh, the aircraft in operation and talk to the Marines about how the, uh, the aircraft operates in combat. So we went through that process. We're uh, going to be back in a few weeks to update them on the pricing and availability of the aircraft the United States uh, government is. And then we'll look forward as, as we work on the industrial side of it, as continuing the transition study uh, with IAR. What's very unique about it, which would be special for Romania, is both aircraft. When you think about the affordability of, of aircraft to buy a separate attack aircraft and a, and a separate utility aircraft, to have purpose-designed military aircraft that have that much commonality really provides affordability to a country because of the small logistics footprint and the spares process that works for both aircraft. So I think that's one key point to remember is affordability.